Well, it's the time. The time is now, and we are taking the five window back up here. It's going to low man rods today. So we gotta get the truck out. We gotta move the Mercedes. We gotta get the Mercedes out, move it, and then get the five window down and take it to low man rods. So it is uh, Columbus week, and we're gonna try to have the car up at low man rods for the open house with all the good guys road tour coming from Des Moines to Columbus. So I'm really excited. The progress is starting back up on the five windows. So that's all in today's video. Let's get it loaded up, get it up there, get it positioned and the work begins. Low man rods on the steadfast five window build. Can't wait, here we go. Mercedes is actually for sale if anyone is interested in Mercedes. It is an 05, so a 2005 SL500. It's got uh, under 32,000 miles, like 31,800 miles. The wheels are perfect, uh, all redone, uh, newer tires, brakes, new battery, uh, hard top convertible, so top works. Uh, so real nice, super straight car. So it is listed on our website at opposingcylinders.com. So someone buy that so I can put more money into the 413 coupe and the five window needs money. So <laughs> we need to sell the Mercedes, but let's get the five window down here. We gotta go get the trailer first. And uh, I'm excited, I can't wait. It's a super fun day. Let's go. Let's get on the road. We're driving along here going to uh, Low Man Rods. Uh, we're going to pick up the trailer, uh, store the trailer up at their shop right now. Uh, we may end up getting another trailer. For those of you that don't follow our Instagram or don't know, we have a, an extra space. We may end up having our own clubhouse here soon and storage for trailer and cars and, and all that stuff. Try to be a mini SoCal speed shop. We'll see how that goes, at least for our car storage and, and our own toys. Um, but with that being said, a lot has changed over the last, shoot, I think four plus years we've had the five window build. Um, so it is a steadfast hot rods build. They started the car many years ago and a little bit of history on that car. It was actually uh, Henry's first commission build. Um, it got started, a guy had come to him and he had started uh, this car many years ago. Uh, it did not get finished. Um, the, I think that guy ran out of money. And then uh, from what I understand, the Mariani brothers, uh, if you know their Model A uh, that Troy built, they picked up the car and but they were building the model a and this car did not get finished then my friend phil becker picked up the car um it was at phil's for a while and i had reached out to henry on the car say hey i want to build a three window coupe he said well what about a five window coupe and sent me pictures of the bill when it was in bare metal well it's still bare metal uh, but uh, sent me some pictures of it and i said whoa i I think that looks killer. Um, I was open to it, so uh, he said, well, I know where it is, So, and I knew Phil, so I, I called Phil, and we put a deal together. Thank you, Phil, <laughs> for uh, allowing us to buy that car. But it's been in the process now for four plus years. Uh, I wanna say we bought that maybe at the end of 2019. Uh, the beginning beginning of 2020 I, I think it was the end of 2019 if I'm not mistaken so it's over four years but and it's probably going to be hopefully it's going to be ready by 2026 so it's going to be a six plus year build but um, you know that's what happens sometimes on these vehicles and being built but uh, we're excited to take it to low man rods they just have a few small things to finish up um, my priorities have changed over the last 
four or five years as well, I still get just as excited on these cars. Um, I used to lose more sleep over it than what I do now. Uh, to me, they are just cars. If you followed our channel for a while, um, yeah, they're expensive. We put a lot of heart, soul, and money and everything into them. This car is not a cheap car by any means. And hence, that's another reason it takes five, six years for me uh, to, to have a car built. Because I'm not building the car uh, myself. But um, they are just cars. And sometimes I think we get carried away that, you know, these bring us happiness. Uh, they bring joy, but with selling so many cars over these last four years as well for others, you know what? You can't not take these cars with you when you are gone. And I see a lot of very expensive cars that are sold for a fraction of the price. And people still think, whoa, they're too expensive. But um, you know what? Just enjoy what you have. Um, I don't get attached to really anything. Um, my wife always says, as long as I'm not going through uh, wives as I'm going through cars, <laughs> we're okay, which is true. Uh, I would not get rid of my wife, but I'm okay of getting rid of cars. There, it just doesn't, it doesn't complete me. It doesn't make who I am. Um, and hopefully you feel the same way. Cars do not make who we are. Uh, whether you have the best car in the world, uh, a collection, and you're just rich beyond all belief, or you don't have the type of car that you think that you should have at this time, looking for traffic, uh, that is okay. Don't wish your life away. I've said that before as well. Don't wish your life away that you have to have something now. I used to do that. And man, when this happens, I'll, I'll be so much happier. That doesn't, that doesn't bring joy. It may bring joy for a minute, just a moment, but it doesn't bring lasting joy. So go towards other things uh, that bring lasting joy and not material things. Again, they break down, they deteriorate, they need fixed and worked on just like us, our bodies. So go towards the eternal things. So just my quick uh, message today. But with that being said, I'm super excited. Low Man Rods has been working on hot rods for us for probably, we looked at it recently, like 14, 15 years. They've had a number of cars. They've built three complete cars for us and they've worked on a ton of other cars. So really what needs done on the five window coupe is uh, the gas tank needs finished. We need a drive shaft. We need a clutch flywheel. We'll probably hang the steering column. Um, we need to finish uh, a little bit of the pedal assembly, those coming through and hanging in there. Uh, the pedal assembly is underneath already. So uh, I think all the brake lines, the exhaust tips need done. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, really, we'll, we'll mock up the rear end for the taillights. We have Jesse Greening's headlights, taillights. So Really, the taillight section will be all fabricated. Uh, we will not be showing the rear end of the car, the gas tank, because it is a one-off gas tank. So you'll have to wait on that. And I've been asked a lot of times, well, what color is it going to be? And unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you because one of the reasons I'm not going to tell you what color it is, is I'm selfish and you can't know until the car is done. Two, the second reason, and I don't know what the color is going to be finally yet or not. I, I don't know. I'm in between a couple of colors that I think it may be, but I have not set it in stone. So after Columbus, good guys, uh, I'm gonna visit with Jerry Sanders, who's gonna do the paint and body on the car and the final assembly. And I'm hoping we narrow down a final color, but I don't know, so I, I want it to be something that really pops and stands out, but I don't want it to be dated uh, 10 years from now and, and everyone remember like, oh, I remember when that car was built. So I want something traditional that will last and hopefully uh, people remember it, but at the same time, I wanna be different. So how do you do that? I don't know. But we're on the road here. Again, that was my little couple stories and a little history and background for you there as well. Um, 
we'll get the trailer we'll get it back to the house i'll have cody help me load up uh, the five window coupe and then it's back up to low man rods and those that are coming in again from the good guys tour from des moines to columbus will get to see the car up here and then the work begins um uh, probably next week it'll go into the fab shop and just get some of these things wrapped up uh, before it hopefully gets to paint and body later this year so thanks for watching today's video if you have not already hit the like button subscribe that greatly helps our youtube channel you'll see the subscribe button right below and then the like button down here as well the like is just a thumbs up that helps the YouTube algorithm push our videos out to more. It helps support the channel. It does not cost you anything. You do need the YouTube um, to be able to log in. So if you're watching TV, log in on your phone or your iPad or something like that, a computer, and hit that like and subscribe. Again, we greatly appreciate your support. Helps us make ongoing videos and more content for you each and every week. So let's get back finished on the road here and we'll see you back at the garage. Well, we're all hooked up here at Low Man Rods. They're out here washing the trailer, getting it ready for Columbus. So if you are, well, this video, by the time it airs, you will have already been in Columbus, but hopefully you stopped by the Low Man Rods trailer in Columbus. And there's by shop, fab shop is up front. And we're gonna have the car back in here. Here's the guy. Matt is the guy that's gonna be working on the five window. So we're excited. Are you ready, Matt? I'm always ready. He's ready. He's ready for the five window. So they're just kind of getting it cleaned up here for an open house. Uh, but the five window will be in here in the beginning and then go over to the fab shop. So uh, they're just getting it ready and kind of cleaned up for this week. So it should be really good. Uh, we'll go inside real quick, see if we find Mac, and then uh, we'll get back on the road, get this car going. To 56, bubble top is all fresh painted, getting all sanded. Looks like they started polishing this one. boys are helping uh, get this thing unloaded so while we're here at low man rods we're also trying to help them get ready for the open house we partnered up with low man rods for the open house for the tour uh, coming from Des Moines and we're gonna feed everyone so we have a whole bunch of tables here we're getting chairs that's why we brought the five window in it's getting ready to get uh, all updated but clearing everything out loaded the 37 up to kind of create more space and then the blue Corvette has been all painted by Low Man Roz. We'll show you this car real quick. Beautiful and just really shines in the sun. This one will be in Columbus. You just see the metallic on it really pops. And we'll show you the Nova over there as well, the 64 Nova. So beautiful car inside and out. Uh, let me see if you can really see the metallic. But that car will be in Columbus, and then we'll show you the Nova, um, the 64 Nova over here. Many of you may have seen this car before. It's got 64 Impala trim down the side, and this thing's over the top. Uh, beautiful car. A lot of trick things on this car as well, but this will be in Columbus as well. Just again, the metallic really pops on this. Uh, it's got John Miller interior uh evod uh, steering wheel makes it look like it's original but it's a shortened wheel but this car will be in columbus so um getting ready the trailer is getting ready as well so we're really just kind of moving everything around getting all the uh, orders for the food we're going to feed everyone uh opposing cylinders and low man rods we're going to 
Greek, I think about 35 to 40 cars in uh, coming from Des Moines, uh, going to Columbus. So it's gonna be a packed house here Wednesday. We're, Wednesday. we're, we're praying for good weather right now. It shows rain or hurricane. <laughs> the rain is coming up this direction. So we'll hope it's all uh, good enough. But either way, it is a rain or shine event on Wednesday. But a lot of cool cars here at Low Man Rods. We hope you like them. Uh, but I'm really excited on the five window, especially once you, again, take the next step and get it up here. It's just uh, really cool uh, to see it go to the next step. Well, we hope you liked today's video. Thanks again to Mac, Timmy, all the crew here at Low Man Rods here in Tip City, Ohio. Give them a follow on their Instagram at lo-manrods. Uh, we'll tag that in the comments below here as well. But thanks to them for getting in the five window build. We're excited to see that kind of wrapped up. Some of the extra details. Thanks to Steadfast Hot Rods for building that car for us. Low Man Rods to finish it. Jerry Sanders is going to be painting it. And everyone else that's had their hand involved in that. We'll uh, see everyone in Columbus. Hopefully uh, you saw us there. This video will probably post after Columbus because we have a lot more. But uh, as progress continues on the five window, we'll share some of that. Again, we're not gonna show the color once that's finally picked out. We don't have that color yet. Um, and we're not gonna show the gas tank. You'll just have to wait uh, for a few little trick pieces um, to be shown once the car is actually done, hopefully for 2026. So until the next episode, give us a thumbs up. If you liked today's video, it's right below. Hit the subscribe button. We greatly appreciate that. And we'll see you on the road in many more episodes. We have a lot of coming up. So be sure to stay tuned to Opposing Cylinders, our YouTube channel and our Instagram at Opposing Cylinders. And by all means, check out our website, opposingcylinders.com, where we're closing in on 200 plus listings and new stuff each and every week. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the road.